What's going on guys, Austin Nurcho here with another My Morphin Collection episode and this time we have the Turbo Megazord from Power Rangers Turbo. This was I believe the 5th season of Power Rangers because we had the 3 Mighty Morphin, Zeo, and then Turbo. I uh, forgot about the alien. So maybe 6, I don't know how they count the aliens and stuff in that. But this is from Turbo so if you've seen like Power Rangers Turbo the movie or either the show as well. And this was from 97 I believe it was. This Turbo was when I really start remembering Power Rangers because usually beforehand I would watch like videos and like you know Power Rangers the movie and VHS tapes and stuff that we had from you know episodes of the seasons of Mighty Morphin and stuff but Turbo was when I actually start remembering like watching Power Rangers on TV and so this is kind of special in that sort of sense but I don't overall like Turbo. Turbo is kind of where I uh, sort of like lost started to lose interest in Power Rangers until later seasons when they came back with some other stuff because I don't I'm not much into like the vehicles and stuff Zord so that's why I kind of lost interest in this so this toy is one I bought so if you saw like my episode from last week where I went um, toy shopping at Kokomo Toys and Collectibles this is where I picked this up I didn't do it then I've got this months ago maybe even years ago now and but this is where I pick up all my old drawers so this is the original it's not like a new one or anything and this is you so the condition's not the best and as you can see maybe with like stickers and stuff they're kind of falling off in in the wrong order and shape some don't have stickers it's just not the best and I need to clean it I really want to like replace the stickers but I'm mean, I can't find any replacements or anything yet but I'm still looking for them um, so Let's go ahead and get into I start off in the Zord mode here, in the Megazord mode. So this is the Turbo Megazord. And then we'll uh, go ahead and take it apart to get them all into each of their vehicles. And then, of course, we'll do, like, the um, Morphine segment or whatever that morphs back into the Zord here and then take it back apart again so you can see how it works and how it goes together and all that. Um, so I'll go ahead and get them switched back into their vehicles, and then we'll go ahead and do the Morphine. Okay, so I got them all transformed into their vehicles now, and so we'll go ahead and just start with number one. So as you can see, we do have a number one on top here. The truck does have a two. These two are missing there, but I do believe it's three and four. I may be wrong, maybe three and four or whatever. I don't know the exact order because they're missing their stickers, so I can't really tell on either of these. And then, of course, five, the pink rangers down over there but we'll go and start with number one which is tommy zord so this is tommy's last zord until he ended up coming back for dino thunder years later but this is the red lightning turbo zord and again it's tommy so he was the red ranger at this point because in zeo he turned into the red ranger and so this carries over into the red ranger again so this is just like a little sports car um kind of like a race car maybe like a lamborghini or something like that obviously it's not that but that's like the closest thing you can compare it to and so again this is old so it's got like some discoloring and not the best looking and it's dirty and everything um but so we have of course this v-shaped windshield here that i think looks really cool we have a um a fin blade i forget what you call these um but it's like a wind resistant type thing and then of course on front we have grill here which all these have these like grills so we have like what would be the headlights here and then just like a grill guard going on there and then the back we have of course like engines and stuff that can shoot probably fire out or something and um for this to do its transformation which we'll just go ahead and do but then we'll have to put it back together so you just pull the back off so it's kind of stuck together you just pull it open like that and it reveals the head and then the back just folds down like this and it reveals the head there so you have the head of the megazord to start off there, so that's really all this does is just uh, pull out the Megazord head. But we'll just, uh, we need to kind of leave it together, but um, we'll leave it separate just for now. But we'll set that aside. And then next up we've got number two here, and so this was Justin, so this was the little kid that um, when he would become the Power Ranger would transform into, like he would grow as an adult when he morphed and stuff. But this is the Mount Blaster Turbo Zord, and so it's like kind of like an off-road vehicle or truck, you could say. Um, uh, maybe like a Hummerish Jeep type vehicle. I don't know exactly how you would classify it as a vehicle, but this definitely does look off road. Of course, it's got the giant tires, um, you know, for going mudding and everything. It does have the grill guard here on the front as well, again, with like the headlights and everything. Then, of course, up the top here, we have the giant headlights. Um, I forget what they call like search. I want to say search lights, but that's not right. But just like some um, definitely <laughs> high like spotlights or whatever. 
that you can use for driving. Of course, like a uh, like a frame going on here to help pull these up and stuff, and just to add more protection. And then we have the back of the vehicle with the emptiness of the truck, so you can obviously store and carry stuff in the windshield and all that. And so for this to transform, we'll go ahead and just fold the light down and kind of stays like that. We have the um, tailgate that folds down and just folds to the back like that. You just fold it all the way back. And then for this, you fill the grill guards up and then pull the legs um, out. They kind of like spring load out. So you just pull them apart. And then on the front here, as you can see, they're the metal parts. So these are actual like metal. They're like a die cast metal. And they end up folding down and there's one on each of the legs. And you just kind of end up, like I said, pulling the legs apart. And you may have some issues with that, but um, it won't cause any problems right now. We'll deal with that later. And then that's all that really does. And then, of course, um, as you see, these tires are different because they'll be where the arms connect. So they have a different look going on to them in there with, like, springs and everything. And so that's all that that one does. Again, that's um, the Mountain Blaster. Then next up we have number three, which is the Desert Thunder Turbo Zord, which is, uh, I like that name. But this is just a very... Um, three and four here are just very plain and basic vehicles. They don't do much of anything special as you can see. It's kind of like a just like a SUV type vehicle. I don't know what you would classify it. And these two almost look exactly the same. Um, the only thing that's different is obviously their colors where this one's green and it has like the grayish color underneath. The other one is yellow and black which we'll look at. And then this is a different vehicle. It has like a more curved windshield where that one has like a straight like um, more of an edge to it. Um, but we do have the grill guard here as well in the front and then of course like a storage rack up top here and then of course we can see all the windows and doors and everything it's got you know wheels that move nice and everything all these vehicles have really nice wheels sometimes on like newer ones they'll have wheels but then they don't really do anything and so i kind of disappointed with newer zords that they have coming out now but we can't really do anything with that so to transform it oh and i forgot to say this was adam so again adam returned or was still in this one he was you know the uh, black black ranger after zach so replaced zach and was in the uh, power rangers the movie and everything and um i think it was the green zeo zord but so for this one all you do is just fold the grill up so just push on the grill here in the front just fold it up and it just kind of reveals an inner area like this and this is where the legs will lock in so those metal parts we saw on the blue zord number two we, they'll stick just down in here but you just fold that up and then just fold these legs up it has this little like um piece of plastic like you can grip on if you need to and help push it up or you can just grab here um, and pull it up and so that's going to be one of the feet so it just sits like that and then to go along with it we'll go ahead and go with number four here the dune star thunder zord again i really like this name and so this is i forget what the vehicle is called but this definitely looks more like a current vehicle that you would see but i can't remember what they what they're called but again it's got the yellow color so this is yellow ranger obviously and it's got the black underneath instead of, you know, like the gray on the green zord here. But it's very much the same. So as I said, it's got like more of a sharper point for the windshield where the um, green one was rounded. But other than that, they look exactly the same, designed the same. So this one on the, again, you push the grill forward to release the spot where the hole, where the leg will go in to attach to it. And then again, on the back, you have the little um, piece of plastic here that you can push on. This one sticks just again, because they are so old. And it slides out very slowly. It should just slide right out. But it's old and needs to be washed and everything. But it's uh, kind of stuck. And then so we have both of the legs there to go for the Megazord. And the last one here, the number five, we have the Wind Chaser Turbo Zord. And this was Kat. So this was Kat who ended up replacing Kimberly. And I think it was the la maybe the last season of uh, Mighty Morphin or maybe when the Alien Rangers came across and stuff. I know she was the Pink Ranger by the time of Zeo. Um, but this is her little car. So again, this just does kind of look like a normal looking car. Like you would probably see this maybe has a little bit bigger tires than a normal car would have. i uh, got some discoloration as you can see. It looks like two different vehicles because this side's more white and this side's more yellow. I don't know if you can see that in the camera or not, but in real life it does, definitely doesn't look like they go together very well. And of course, this, they may not, this because this is used obviously, so they may have just stuck two different pieces together. Because this side doesn't have any stickers where this side has all the stickers. Of course, they're horrible condition and everything. But it does have the stickers, but it doesn't really matter. That I mean, it still goes together um, and everything, so it doesn't matter. And so again, this is the number five vehicle here, again by Cat. And so for this one, it's kind of just simple. You just split it apart, like just pull it apart in half. And then each one has a hand that folds out, so you can obviously pull the hand out. So we got the hand there, 
And then there's this part here that, that you fold out for the arms, and so it's just a circle, and that'll attach to the blue Zord um, on the wheels that I showed, so attach there. And then you just pull like the um, front window here, the windshield out. You just pull it out of this um, little slot and move it up, and it has a little notch in here that goes in between the wheel well and the tires, so it just kind of locks up in there. So there we have one of the arms, and then we can do the same for this one, so fold the hand out. Fold the little arm piece down, push the windshield wipe or windshield wipers, windshield out if I can get it unstuck there, and then move it up into the wheel well by the tires. And there we have the arm. So we now have all the pieces. So we can go ahead and just put it all together here. So we'll just go and sit out the two legs. We'll go ahead and attach the blue vehicle here, which um, is sometimes kind of hard to get connected, I'm trying to get it to push in because there is like a little. Um, like spur uh like i don't know what you'd call it like a little spring type thing in here the gray part you can see that kind of uh, moves in to attach the leg to it so let's go ahead and see if i can get it pushed in there there we so we got that one attached now let's try the green one okay so i got the green and yellow legs on now then we can take the red lightning turbo zord and kind of just stick it in here so it just sits down and if you have the legs pulled apart there is like a little um door in here trap door kind of that if you have the legs spread apart enough it will um you can push it down it's like spring load so it automatically just shuts right back but if you don't have the legs spread out, out apart enough they won't be able to go down so you just take the car and like drive it into the back there and sit down then you can push this light area up into the top so that's like the chest piece and then of course just fold this down and then the back of the vehicle here these two like um parts here that allow it to like slide back and forth will sit in between the two parts here so it just kind of sticks it in there so it's kind of like attached now so it doesn't flap around or anything so there we have most of the zord together now and then of course you just take the two arms and you just pop them right into the wheel wells or the um whatever you call them what it's called uh uh rims of the truck here and so there you have the arms on it now so there we have it all completely put together now so we have the T um, turbo megazord all put together so we have, of course have the um, megazord's head up here and I like how they have you know kind of like exhaust pipes or something coming off of the head making that shape there which I, I like that and then of course the eyes and stuff and the head I don't know exactly if those are supposed to be just like designs on the side obviously supposed to be for like ears but um, they kind of look like uh, tires or something and I just think that looks really cool in this form and then it does come with them some weapons so we do have the sword here um the sword is obviously a real thick cheap plastic it's you know bendy and everything and it's old and dirty it looks like something had chewed on it there on that end and then we do have this logo here which i don't really you don't really see it anywhere on the zord um but on here it does have it's like a triangle shape with like a little looks almost like a c if, i don't know if you can see that in there so it's just obviously supposed to be something related to turbo. But you just take the sword and stick it in its hand there. And then it does have a shield as well. Again with that same logo as you can see there. And it just like looks like a giant tire or something. But I was hoping these would attach onto the vehicles or something. Especially like this piece. But I couldn't find that they would attach anywhere. And then you just kind of stick it in the hand with the little thing. Which doesn't hold it very well. So it's kind of like you know can flop around and everything. And I don't like that very much. But you know it's nothing i can really do about it that's just the way they designed the zord so there we have the turbo zord and so for movements that you know can't really move its legs it doesn't have any movements it's like its arms can move up and down like um i showed you and stuff so you can like pose the arms in different ways but you can't do anywhere you know farther out or to the side same with this one that you know they both do that and then the head doesn't move or anything it's stationary i'm just gonna leave the shield off since it keeps falling and so that's really there, all there is to it. So here's a look at the back. So it's pretty much all black, but we do have, of course, um, from the uh, Desert Thunder Zord here, the green one. It's got the gray for some reason, so it feels like it doesn't fit in. Um, but I think it looks cool. Like I said, it's not my favorite Zord because I'm not big into, like, the vehicle Zords. But I still think it looks really cool. And, of course, there is another um, Turbo Zord that I don't have that um, where each Zord kind of turns into a little Zord itself, which I would like to have, but I've never seen it before. So I'd have to like probably order or something and be really expensive. So I probably won't be um, getting any more Turbo Zords unless I can find them or Kokomo or something will have them and I can get them for a good price. But that's pretty much it for the Zord. Like there's nothing much to go on to it. It doesn't light up, doesn't make any noises. It doesn't have any sort of special effects or anything to go along with it. Um, but that's, so that's pretty much it. So let's go ahead and take it apart now. So go ahead and just go in reverse order. So we'll just take the arms off. We'll just pop 
each of them off real quick. We'll go ahead and fold the windows down and then you'll just fold the two arm parts up back into the vehicle as well and then fold the hands up and it just snaps right together. So there we have the Wind Chaser, Thunder Zord, the Pink Ranger Zord, number five there back together. We'll just set that over there. Then we'll go ahead and take the two legs off. So we'll start with the Doom Star Thunder Zord. Oh, it's going to fall apart. And the Desert Thunder Turbo Zord. And again, you just push the fronts down, the grill guards, and then the backs down. And you're back to your vehicle as normal. Same with the yellow. Again, the Dune Star here. Put them back there like that. And then for the red lightning turbo zord, you just again fold the back up, unattach it from the back flap there, the tailgate, fold it forward, and then just pull it right out and it comes right out. And then you just push it together and it forms back into the car, the red car there. And then with the truck, again, if you haven't pulled apart, you just close them together, squeeze it together, fold these metal parts in, and then push the guards back down. Fold up the tailgate in the back here, so you just shut it right back up. Push the lights forward, and then you can push them up like that. So they are now shining in the front as they need to be the light of everything. And so that's pretty much all there is to it. There's nothing really special, like I said, about this order. Just plain basic again. Just cheap, you know, not cheap, but... Um, cheaply not yeah cheaply made compared probably to the um zords previous to it is cheaply made not nearly as much as the vehicles are today or the zords are today which i think is horrible but you know it's just you know a bunch of plastic the only thing that has more than just plastic is the red truck here of course that has the metal front and then like this is metal or like a not like a heavy metal but it's like a thin metal and it feels heavier than all the others because others are just all plastic so they're real lightweight um, but like I said, nothing special to it. They are just a cheap vehicle in there. So, and especially with these being from the originals from 97 that I have here. They're dirty. Their stickers are falling off. I need to really work on these. But I can't really do anything about that now. But that's going to be it for this Tate Turbo Megazord review for my Morphin collection of this week. I hope you enjoyed this. Let me know if you did down below in the comments. Don't forget to let me know if you enjoyed Turbo. If it was like a season you liked or if you liked the Zord. Anything you want to tell me about Power Rangers Turbo, go ahead and do so in the comments down below. And don't forget to subscribe and hopefully I can keep up with more Zord reviews as I have a whole bunch more Zords to get through. And I just keep pushing it off because I'm hoping, you know, someday either get a new camera or at least like I got a new phone. I was hoping that would be able to work better, but it didn't. So I'm back using this because the setup is not comfortable for me. But I hope you enjoyed this and I thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.